hey, it's Halloween. Gotta get into the spirit, he says. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> I don't know what he... <laughs> Who is this? I feel like Jason without the Y. I feel like Jason had like a wider face or something. I don't know. I don't know these things. He wishes. I'd snatch that bottle. I'd be doing some karate stuff. So welcome to Pepper Schism. Halloween edition. It's Halloween month. It's Halloween month. And we have a box that we got from Pucker Butt Pepper Company. It's a surprise box for Halloween that they're putting out. And this is one of the items that came in it. So P Pucker Butt is the... It's the person that makes... That the Carolina Reaper. That he was the, developed the Carolina Reaper. He okay. was the inventor of the Carolina Reaper. And Pepper X, right? And he's developing Pepper X? Or is that a different person? Um, He's got a new one that he's making. I can't remember. I don't think it's called Pepper X, though. Oh, uh, I just made that up? It could be, though. You okay. might be right. No, you probably didn't make that up. So we're so, going to try this one because it's automatically my favorite. It has a dog in the title and on the label. And we'll put a picture right somewhere here in the middle of our heads <laughs> he's getting real technical he can do things and we'll also be trying out this guy it's a pockmark peach it's beautiful it's a beautiful peach um purple like who yeah knew? It's, it's really nice looking it's got a lot of color what is it what kind of pepper is it pockmark peach is grown by farmer jay oh okay jared smith it's in a um an assorted box of pods that he sent to me so i'm going to cut this open we'll try it out later okay. is it hot i don't know it's going to be cool to find out it's going to be cool if it's hot I mean, I'm here all week. I am here all night, too. Do you need nails? No, he got it. So, the packaging is so cute because it's got a black lab that's real shiny, and we have a black lab that's also real shiny. So, that's why I love it. And it came just, I mean, like he said, it was a mystery box, so he kind of just got what he got. Did you pay for the box? I did. So, how much was the box, and about how many things did you get? We should do an unboxing, like actual YouTubers. This you know? is, uh, uh, the box I believe is $30, but it comes with four or five sauces. And, uh, the last time I got one, I got the, uh, Choco Challenge in it. Okay. And the Choco Challenge itself, if I'm not mistaken, is around $15. Oh, and this second box, they gave you an, another Choco Challenge. That's why you have two, right? Uh, no, I, they I gave know. me, I... uh, it's by Willie Pete's Chocolate Company. It's called Pink Mist. It's not a challenge product. Oh, okay. But it's still hot as hell, so haven't got into that. We'll probably save that for another video. I don't want it. So, do you want to read the ingredients? Do you want me to? Okay. I will, because I have my bifocals on. And I can't, I don't, I can't read, but we'll try. It's got pineapple as the first ingredient, so that means it's got a lot of pineapple in it. And then pineapple, oh, it says pineapple, and then it's got like the brackets, and it says pineapple juice, and then some other stuff, and then rice vinegar, onion, roasted garlic, honey, dried red chilies, toasted onion, sea salt. I feel like there's probably a missing comma there, and it's toasted onion, and then sea salt. Agave, lime juice, ginger, dried garlic, mustard flour, toasted sesame seeds. If you are doing keto... It has one carb per one teaspoon, which is kind of alarming, but it's because of the pineapple and the honey. It's not because of the peppers. Peppers do have like an abnormally high amount of carbs, but the honey is what gets you in this one, in the pineapple. But it's fine. I mean, it's a teaspoon and it's one carb, so who cares? It's only five calories. 
So, but this picture, <laughs> I and love it. And what? Let's oh. try it out. Oh, okay. So I got my fancy Johnny Scoville spoon. If you you don't can recognize. you can smell the vinegar. I'm sorry to interrupt. It smells great. It does smell great. So totally surprised. We've never tried this before. This will be a blind review. Wait, it says to um, shake well, and I don't think I should. Play. Shake it up. Shake it up. Oh, and by the way, Ed Curry is the name. Okay. Sorry. I knew he had a name, but I didn't know exactly the name what the of the Puckerbot Pepper Company. Um, you want to go first? Are we sharing a spoon? I've we never... are. Ooh, it's a heavy spoon. Okay. Ooh. Super sweet. That is probably one of the best sauces I've ever <coughs> had. Excuse me. That is really good. It's such a good amount of heat. No joke. I mean, it's middle of the road. It's not super hot. Um, At first, I thought it was going to be too much vinegar. But then, but tasting it, like smelling it, it smells real vinegary. But then, and we're from Texas, so our barbecue sauce is not like... The vinegar yellow kind of barbecue sauce it's like the sweet red brown sugar sauce for barbecue this isn't a barbecue sauce but you know what i mean like that's where our palate lies so when you smell sassy. it when you smell it you smell a lot of vinegar but then when you taste it like the vinegar kind of goes away and you just taste the awesome like mm -hmm. chilies and pineapple and honey that's really good that is really good it's got a little bit of a burn, like my lips are kind of on fire, but it's not so bad. Like, I could eat it on stuff. I can totally taste the, the toasted onion, the pineapple. The agave of, and the lime. I can taste, yeah, everything. it's weird. It's, it's good. I'm a, I'm a and it gives a little Asian astro astrology. The dog is fiercely loyal and always ready to help others. Two traits that perfectly describe year of the dog hot sauce with any food. What year are you <laughs> in Chinese astrology? Comment down below. Spoken like a true YouTuber. I'm year of the rabbit. Year of the monkey. Year of the rabbit is supposed to be. <laughs> I can see that. Year of the rabbit is supposed to be the luckiest sign. And I am lucky because I have you. Oh. I know. <laughs> mm, that's good yeah let me try that again too um, on a scale of 1 to 10 what do you think the heat level is like a 3 4 I would even say a 3 or 4 like I wouldn't be able if to that, eat I wouldn't I mean, chug it it would kind of burn my throat if I chugged it but it like on a chug challenge this would be like, if it was a League of Fire challenge, it'd be really, like, an easy challenge to do. It's really oh, good. No problem. It's, like, um, grainy. Does that make sense? Like, it's it's blended. It's just got little pieces in there. But, like Jason was saying, you can taste, like, the onion. And I feel like it's because you can taste the, um, the consistency of the onion. Like, the little, like, onion particle, if that makes sense. It might not make any sense. So now for the pepper that he told me 30 seconds ago what it was, and I've already forgotten something about peach. And I know it's from Farmer J. I'm sorry, Farmer J. Pockmark Peach. Pockmark Peach. That's why I'm blocking it out, because that's kind of a gross name. It's <laughs> really, really, really pretty, too. It's a beautiful pepper. Yeah. The pepper is so much prettier than the name. i got a feeling it's probably going to be... <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jay. It's probably going to be a little floral tasting, just by the smell. It's got a real pungent odor. The skin? Do we call it skin or membrane? I'm not sure, but it's really thin. Both is accurate. Okay. Pretty, I don't know, it's pretty thin walled. Wall. That's a better, that's a better word for it. I want like not that much. Well, I'm just oh. letting you smell it. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're going for it. 
Ooh. It's got it's got an odor. It smells like a garden. I can see like I'm starting mm -hmm. to learn in the floral. I can see how you would call this floral. It took me a long time to understand what people were talking about when they're saying floral, but imagine like literally getting sprayed in the mouth with perfume. You know, have you ever done that by accident? Mm -hmm. I know when I'm spray cologne, I'm a man. I get sloppy and I'm just everywhere, and on the tip of the tongue, and it's, you're just like, oh. So are the two different? Like it's either sweet tasting or floral, yeah, yeah. or are those the two spectrums, or is there something else? There's uh, some citrus tasted ones, tasting ones. There's some fruity tasting ones. Uh, so like would the, fruity be what I'm calling like sugary sweet, and you you yeah. call it fruity instead? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just starting to get the lingo. Like the Carolina Reaper has a real fruity plate flavor, like a habanero. Um, it's just, you know, you usually can't taste the flavor because of the heat. But <laughs> um, I don't, there's a little bit of capsaicin oil inside there. I can see it shining. Oh, I can too. Cool. It's, um, I feel like there's, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to get a reflection, but unfortunately I can't. Maybe. Get it close enough to the camera for you guys. Okay, so I've got my piece, which is more than three fourths of the pepper, and you got. I've got the biggest piece. It's clearly the biggest. It's like the whole pepper. Look at how multicolored it is. All them purples and, and green and white. Mm. If that's a really cool looking pepper. It's like LSU. It is. Or. Do a one, two, three, go. Okay. One, two, two three. three, go. Not too bad. It's real sweet. It's a little hot for me though. I'm glad I just did the little bitty piece. It's a little warm. It's not bad. It's caught the left side of my tongue on fire. That's Do you fine. taste the, the the floral notes that I'm talking about, though? This one isn't a real super bad one. It does kind of like pick up towards the end. Um, not one I snack on all the time. That's, that is a perfect example of what a floral pepper tastes like. Okay. Um, the best tasting pepper I've ever had, it's not that hot, but it is the Kingstar Lemon Starburst. And um, we have another video that's been uploaded, and I try out the Kingstar uh, Peach Starkist. And it's almost like that, but it has those floral notes to it where it wasn't as good as the Starburst, which is the little yellow pepper if you guys haven't seen it. Um, anyway, but that one... It's the tastiest pepper. It's uh, it's crunchy, and like a lot of peppers, you, yeah, you can snap into. But when I say crunchy, it's it's almost like you you popped a potato chip or something in your mm -hmm. mouth. I mean, it's just like it's just a, a delight, delightful experience to chew, and it's like it, a it tastes pepper. great. I mean, uh, the the it's real citrusy. It's got a great flavor. Um, he made a. King Star came up with a great pepper when he came up with that one. So, on a heat level, what would you say? For me, it's like an eight or a nine because, well, I don't know, maybe not. Even for me, maybe a seven. This is actually a little warmer than I expected, so I would say four, four and a half for me. I mean, and I eat hot stuff all the time, so that's, that's saying something. I'm actually feeling the heat. Um... So, all right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, highly recommend Lucky Dog from Pucky Pepper Company. It's it's great. Uh, the pod is definitely cool to look at. Um, I wouldn't say it's a great flavor, but it's not a bad flavor. Um, but, I mean, if you just want to grow a beautiful pod, that's, man. Yeah, it's really pock pretty. Pockmark peach is awesome. Full of capsaicin oil. Like, it I is. feel like that's why 
it's kind of hanging down on the side of my mouth because it's like stuck to my tooth, to my um, taste buds that's over what, here. That's that... what it does. Generally, okay. when you have more oil inside the pod, it's going to burn and it's going to burn for a while. The water is not going to do anything but disperse it around yeah. your mouth. So, But all right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching and uh, come back and see us. Bye. This is Pepper Schism. We're out.